to be done today. Oh, so fabulous. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to the channel once again. It's your girl Dumibilia. If this is your first time coming across my channel, you're welcome. I do hope you decide to subscribe. And if you are a returning subscriber, you guys know that I love you. It's so good to have you here. Welcome back. So today's video, as you guys already saw in the title, we're going to be talking about blackface. The thing that has happened in Black History Month. So a group of high school students from a Catholic school called St. Hubert High School in Philadelphia were called out for doing blackface. And this happened about a week ago or it's not up to two weeks ago this happened so this happened in black history month this happened this month and it's symbolic that they did it this month because they kind of did it in, in quote honor of black history month so let me play this video philadelphia teens caught in this shocking racist video <laughs> spray painting one girl's face black and making comments like this <laughs> in another part of the video appearing to mock black history month you're a black girl you know your roots. It's February! The appalling video posted on social media and then shared widely. Nothing but a slave. <laughs> After this, you're doing my laundry. So apparently it's been all over the news. I can understand why this is very offensive and Aside that, another girl actually put on a durag and said she's black now because she's putting on a durag. So the durag made her black. <laughs> Anyway, before I talk about it further, let me play some videos by some people who had something to say about the situation. So it's bad enough that this young woman is clearly being bullied in this video, but also blackface, really, truly. And these images were sent around to other students as well as posted on social media. Like, come on, come on. At this point, I don't want to hear about another book ban or another ban on CRT until we can ban because clearly some education needs to be done. And clearly there is one group that is consistently failing on that end. It's been eight days and this bullshit keep coming up. And it's February, my favorite month of the year, Black History Month. But we as a black pe as black people need to stop paying attention to these ignorant ass racist bastards. These people like that little wench of a woman just wants some attention why are we giving her attention she's pathetic let's focus on black history month and let these little cockroaches and let let these little cockroaches alone my opinion my opinion well, what these girls were doing were spraying each other's faces black in black face in philly and calling each other nothing but slaves. When I tell people this mentality is still very much alive, I'm not fucking I grew up in predominantly white areas, not in only one state, but around the country. And those parents and those grandparents are still alive from segregation and Jim Crow era. Still fucking alive. This is why they want to ban black history in this country. This is why they want to end anything pro-black because when you preach pro-black they think you're preaching black supremacy and that is their fear of losing power in this country and the entire world this is why they hate me this is why they call me an n-word lover this is why they call me uh, a race traitor and this is why they talk to me a certain way when they don't know what i do why people assume I will be thinking like them when they see me in public. This is why when my black friends leave the room, or just black people in general, they will whisper racist ass shit in my fucking ear. This mentality is still very much alive. This is not fear mongering bullshit. These girls are young. And they're doing this and laughing about it as if it's okay. This is the norm mentality. This is why white people will say, why do you always talk about race? They fear black supremacy. And for all the white people who say they're against racism, but don't do anything to fight against it or speak up against it, your silence is compliance. Because you don't like racism, you don't agree with racism, but you won't do anything to change it because you're comfortable. You benefit from the fucking system. You are a part of the problem as well. 
Why, people, if we want to just stop talking about race, like you say you want to, in the conversation and treat everybody as a human being, we need to end this mentality. Why people started this shit, we need to end it. Because I guarantee to you, as much as you're sick of talking about race, black people are sick of talking about it and living with it. My name is Eric Stone. Dosis. A lot of you guys wanted an update, so here it is. The school is now remote for the remainder of the week. Now, this is an all-girls Catholic school, and this is not the first racist incident. In fact, a lot of people are protesting because things have been brought out to the school before, and people are saying they just swept it under the rug. But what about their parents? A lot of you guys were like, oh, why does it matter? It does matter. Now, one of their parents is a nurse, allegedly a nurse for a local hospital. So you're damn right I want that mother's name and you're damn right I want to know which hospital because this is where race is a pipeline. This mother, you cannot tell me you don't know what your girl is up to. You don't know what your children are up to. It starts with the parents. So if the mother is like, if the child is like this, the mother is like this as well. So as more information comes out, I encourage everybody to share it. I encourage people to talk about it and to make sure that this doesn't get swept under the rug. I saw something that had gone on locally and was just kind of getting an update on CNN because now it's national news about a group of girls um, not too far from where I live who spray painted someone's face black, made a bunch of really racist comments, filmed it, posted it with the Black History Month slogan on it. And at this point, they've been dealt with, I guess, academically. Um, but to film it, post it to the internet in whatever capacity and put that slogan on it, that comes with a lot of audacity. The audacity of believing there isn't anything wrong with this behavior. It is learned. I would venture to guess that in their communities, in their families, in their friends, in their very white Catholic school, they have grown up with the true belief that they are white and therefore superior and that it is acceptable to make fun of the trauma of other cultures and publicly display it um and the worst part is is that you know i don't think that there'll be public re repercussions but if you're learning this at home you can't really point a finger anywhere else. Yeah. I mean, we talk about it systemically and there are just individual racist acts, but this is almost, it's a racist act, but it's cultural. It's their culture and their community upholding these ideals. And those people in their culture and community are working, providing services to people of color. And it is, as always, just a sickening. I've tried to make a video to this so many times, but I just keep getting mad, saying shit that I know is going to get my video taken down. You know, in a caption it says, since you won't teach your kids right, <clears throat> society will. And I pray that they get what they deserve. And they are right, because this was taught by their parents. They did learn this at home. And it's a disgrace. It's nasty. It's disgusting. And you know they wouldn't say nothing like that in front of anybody with color. They would, they'd be scared to even think something like that. What's the saddest part, though, is that this video stayed up long enough to make rounds, get stitches, get views. I mean, I, I don't know if the video's still up or not. I really hope that they get a lesson taught to them. But I also pray for their safety at the same time. Because if the right one gets a hold of them, it's, it's going to be bad. Do better on raising your children. Don't teach them hate. I don't understand why you would want your children to hate. I don't understand why you'd want anybody to hate. 
anybody, especially over the color of their skin. I just don't, I'm, I'm lost. I'm at a loss for words. It's sad that we're still talking about blackface in 2023. And to think that these girls actually filmed this and had the audacity to post it online. And they even went as far as sending that video to their black classmates. So they even have black classmates in that school. They have black students there. So if this could happen, if this whole scenario could happen, imagine what those black students must be facing in that school. And this is exactly why black history needs to be taught in schools, if you ask me. Because on the other hand, you have a governor banning the studies of black history and people pushing for black history to be scrapped out of you know school curriculum and all of that. And then apparently they are still children because these are kids i think they are teenagers they're still children doing this and obviously they are learning it from somewhere so it just it just leaves me wondering like what kind of families do these kids come from what are they learning from home you cannot tell me that their parents have no idea that this is the way their children are or that their kids are capable of something like this it's sad so black people actually went for a demonstration just right outside the school and apparently this is not the first time something like this has happened there have been racial incidents happening before and the school has not really done anything about it and as you mentioned this protest started not too long ago it's happening right outside st hubert's high school which is an all-girls high school right here in philadelphia you can see some of the signs protesters brought with them no more racism condemn and confront white supremacy where is your humanity now the main message here is that hate has no home here and joining me now is adam mcneil he is the organizer and a community activist now Adam tell me what prompted you to spearhead this today um, I just thought when I saw the video that it was complete ignorance um, I watched it and I was completely confused that we still have so much blatant racism in 2023 um, and then to know that the students not only made this video in mockery of black people on Black History Month, but they took the time to send it to their fellow students, which to me was the straw that broke the camel's back. We, we have to stand together as a community to show that racism is not acceptable, but to know that our children are displaying this racism only asks me, only has me question who are their parents? What do their parents teach them? What is the resolution going to be behind this tragedy? Speaking of resolution, what would you like to see done? Um, an apology is not enough. Immediate dismissal is not enough. We want them charged. This is a hate crime. This is ethnic intimidation. If the shoe was on the other foot, they would prosecute a black child to the fullest extent without thinking twice. We want them to know what accountability is and what accountability looks like and what trauma looks like when it is set upon somebody else that did nothing to you. There's many of young students that go to the school that are black and brown. How do you think that they feel every day now walking into school knowing that their classmates are racist and if the school does not dismiss these students immediately it just shows their lack of value for their own black students that they have here and that is unacceptable i don't really expect the school to do anything about it because i feel like they don't really get serious backlash when they do things like this maybe just a little slap on the wrist outrage on the internet the news will cover it and then that's it but anyway, the school put out a statement to openly condemn the actions of these girls. Principal of St. Hubert's has responded, issuing a statement that reads in part, We view racism as a mortal sin. There is no place for it in our hearts and minds, and there is no tolerance for such behavior at St. Hubert's. And that's it. We don't know if anything is going to be done. And maybe if you guys watching this know if further action was taken, please let me know in the comment section. But with the research that I did, I didn't think anything else was done. Anyway, you guys, just let me know what you think about this whole situation in the comment section. Did you hear about it? Um, just drop your comments. Let me know your thoughts. Let's have a discussion in the comment section. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Also, turn on notifications so that whenever I drop a new video, YouTube is going to let you guys know. Share this video as well. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.